We talked about MDP. Now let's see how we implement it. Those are conditions to stop. We will talk what is policy and value iteration soon. Right now, let's check the interface. Here at utility function, we just compute the dimension, the shapes for states and action based on a transition function. Here is the class of MDP itself. S is a set of states. A is a set of actions. Here are the parameters it receives. Transition is a transition probability. It can be defined in a variety of ways. The simplest way is just for each pair of a state and action, we put a probability that this transition happened like we saw it with the cars. Here the transition probability for this state and this action is 50%. And for this state and another action is 50%. But for this state and this action, it is 100%. Well, you got the idea. When we're talking about deep learning, most likely tr the transitions is a model. And there are two kinds of policies. First is a policy which is in progress. It could be not optimal. For example, here is non-optimal policy described. Why? Because the probabilities are non-optimal. They are default. But if our policy will converge, you will have zero here, one here, zero here, one here, zero here, zero here. This would be optimal policy. And in this case, we can describe this optimal policy with simple ifs or array, right? But for more complex environment, it is impossible that is why we need a model. If we put a model here with time and doing something, which we will talk about later how it is done and why, we will end up with the model, a policy, which given a state returns you action. What should you do in each state to achieve the goal, to maximize the reward function? Then a reward. A reward could be represented in a many way. It could be represented as array when for fixed state action pairs, you return, it is good or bad, to perform this action in this state. Reward in the simplest way here looks like give me your state, give me the action you wanted to do, I will say how much it worth. If I'm in a cool state and I'm moving slow, I will get plus one. If I'm in a cool state and move fast, I will get plus two. These are examples of array. I could also express it as a hard rule logic. It also could be substituted by a model. There are many. Here, the reward represented goal to move as fast as possible. We express this as a double reward for moving fast, while for moving slow, we are receiving two times less reward. So the in intention of the car driver will be to move fast always. But there are circumstances that makes this setup impossible. And we have to invent a policy. What should we do to move fast as much as possible? Let's continue. Discount. Discount factor helps us to compute future rewards. Epsilon is a stopping criterion. We compute the change in the past and new best values of states. And if we haven't achieved any meaningful change on the new episode, we stop the training. This is a limit for maximum number of iterations. Attributes. We have array of uh, transition probabilities. Reward is also array of uh, values how we price the agent for actions and state pairs. The optimal values function. We will talk about value functions soon. This thing represent a state values for each state. Methods, what MTP can do, it can run. Run means execute a policy and act according to the policy. Available set of rewards for each action compute values for each state. Values is expected reward that we can get in each state acting according to the same policy which has led us to this state. Again, run will execute some logic that will compute all the Vs for every state. The agent will know how good is to be in this state. Imagine a grid, and for each cell of a grid, you will get a value. Then agent just need to follow the path where the values are the largest, and it will be optimal policy because it will allow him to collect the most rewards. Initialization, we pass transition, reward. We initialize these matrices. 
we set verbosity. Then representation is a two string method, the Bellman operator. It computes the value function. First, we create a table. It is called a Q table. A Q table is simply a map with the decisions. But these decisions are expressed as rewards. And by choosing maximum rewards, we get these arrows. This is not a matrix with arrows. A matrix with numbers, agent follows the pathway where he can collect maximum number of these values. And this gives us arrows. We create a placeholder for this Q table. Then we are iterating over every possible action. Here we are iterating for every action. This action pair, this action pair, this action pair. And for this action, we compute the Q value or action value pair. Here is the immediate reward, immediate reward plus discount multiplied per transition function. Transition function and multiplied by this implicitly and multiplied per gamma coefficient and for the sum of previous values. Explicitly, here it is transition function probabilities to move there multiplied by previously computed i a recursive values for each state in this manner we compute q table we calculate q value for each action we return index of the optimal action remember i told you about optimality we want not ordinary q value but we want a maximum and here it is we select argmax the maximum Q value that we computed as well as the uh, optimal action. So we return a pair, as I told you before, action values are pairs of states and actions. And we return optimal action and optimal state. Then we also updated policy and updated values directly, not implemented for now. We updated value table with the maximum action value that we computed this term and then the policy is probabilities of taking some particular action. We wrote the index of the best action there. There is a function to compute a reward. Reward, as I told you earlier, is evaluation of actions for one state, choosing some particular action. Also taking account, into account stochasticity uh, during transition. So uh, S will be a number of states, A, a number of action. P is an array of uh, transitions with uh, three dimensions and each cell is containing a matrix s by s it helps us uh, to take into account stochasticity